Hi, I'm Allison, and this video is brought to you by Baby Lock. Borders are a great way to finish off your quilt and also help frame your center design. Today, I'm gonna to share with you some of my favorite tips for sewing on borders. So the first thing you wanna consider when adding borders is the proportion of the border to your quilt. As a general rule of thumb, a small wall hanging should have a border of less than six inches, while a king size quilt can usually handle about a 12 to 14 inch border. Borders that are too wide can often overwhelm the overall design of your quilt and draw attention away from all that intricate piecing that you've done in the middle. To decide how wide to make a border, begin with your finished block size. If your quilt center is made of four inch blocks, try a four inch wide border. If you want to make a quilt larger, try to avoid adjusting only the border. Unless the change is minimal, widening the border can make the quilt look a little out of proportion. Instead, you can consider adding sashing or pieced borders like this one here, um, or you can add multiple borders to enlarge the finished quilt. You can see here that we have a couple of borders. It's always a good idea to wait to cut the borders until the top is finished. Any variation in seam allowance can change the size of the finished top. If you cut the borders the size the pattern specifies without first measuring your completed top, there's a chance that your border may be too short or too long. So once you have your quilt top assembled and you're ready to add borders, you wanna make sure you get some measurements of your quilt to make sure you're cutting your borders the correct size. So the first place you're gonna measure is at the top of your quilt, and then you're gonna go ahead and wanna uh, write that measurement down um, so you don't have to keep it all in your head. And then we're gonna measure in the middle of the quilt, and then we'll write that measurement down. And then we're gonna do the bottom and get that number as well. So if all three of your measurements aren't quite the same, you can take the average and you'll cut your borders this size and this will help square up your quilt. So once you have your borders cut, I like to go ahead and fold my um, border strip in half and just kind of give it a little press. You can also take it to the ironing board. Um, and then you'll align your middle point of your border to the middle point of your quilt. This quilt is nice because it has a seam right in the middle, but if your quilt doesn't, you can go ahead and you know fold your quilt in half and then find the middle that way. So once you have your kind of creases marked, so you're gonna be centering your border on your quilt, you're gonna put right sides together and make sure the um, crease in your border is aligned to the middle of your quilt. You're gonna stick a pin there, and then you're gonna also pin each end and make sure those are aligned. So you're gonna stick a pin in there, and then you're gonna do one on the other end. And then you can go back in and add more pins. Um, I definitely recommend adding at least one in the middle between those two points on either end, but you can add as many pins as you want. I always think the more pins you add, the more accurate your piecing is going to be. If the border is slightly larger or smaller than your top, you can ease a little bit of difference by putting the longer edge facing down towards the machine. So our border that we've added is a little bit bigger than our top, so we're gonna put that facing toward our feed dogs because the feed dogs will pull the longer section through the machine slightly faster than the top, and that will help smooth out any variations in size. Sew with your quilt top facing down if possible. Since you'll see the seams of the quilt top while sewing the border on, you can make sure no seams get twisted as you sew and cause unnecessary bulk while quilting. To prevent wavy borders, make sure you're using plenty of pins when attaching the border strips. Quilt tops are heavy and can pull or drag while sewing borders on, which can cause uneven seams. If you're pinning and stopping with your needle down to adjust as needed, you'll keep a consistent quarter inch seam the whole way. As you can see, there are a handful of things to consider when adding borders to your quilt. Hopefully with these tips, you're able to successfully add one or more borders to help complete the look of your project.